Hey wine fans, Stephen here from the Napa Valley Wine Academy content team with an update on what is new this week in membership. So this week we're having an Alsace theme, but we are releasing some other stuff as well. So let's check it out. First up, we have our oxidative masterclass that was recorded last week from HQ with Chris Spiegel. And Chris Spiegel, of course, is a master of wine and a winemaker for a major winery. So one of the best people in the world really to talk about this topic. Now I find oxidative wines really interesting because you always learn, oh, you know, oxygen's bad, but when done well, you can get the most amazing results. So this is a longer piece, one of our, it's almost two hours long masterclasses. So you will learn a lot about this. If you're really new to uh, you know, oxidative winemaking, this is gonna be great. But even if you do, you know, you are familiar, you're probably gonna learn something as well. So definitely check that one out. Also last week, we had our Touring Sicily Travel Panel, which was hosted by our very own Catherine Bouguet, a VP of Education, who went to Sicily earlier this year. And it also featured Ben Spencer, probably the English speaking authority on Mount Etna wines. But it also featured four of our students who are all Mount Etna wine ambassadors. They all took a test, they all know Etna, and they've all been there. Uh, so it was really great listening to them about how special Etna was to them and all the different experiences they had. If you're looking to try Mount Etna wines, or you're looking to go there, this is a definite. You really have to watch this because they did a great job. Let's check out Elsa. So uh, we've done some great profiles. So first one was Pinot Grigio. We've also done Riesling. Let's have a look at Pinot Grigio, which is one of my favorite grapes. It's so versatile. There's so much you can do with it. So all about the flavors and structures. Um, what I like about this is there's some context to go with the structure. It's not just, you know, it's not just dry to sweet, but there's some information to go with that as well. Uh, a little bit about viticulture and, and how Pinot Gris does go out in the vineyard. Uh, and of course, where you can find it around the world. So we've got one of these for Riesling as well. They're a great resource and they're really well put together. Uh, also, we have re-released some Alsace maps. So uh, let's check out, we've got the WCT map for those who are studying, but we've also got our topographical map for Alsace. What I really enjoy about this map is the Vosges Mountains. Now, obviously there is no, uh, no grapes growing on the very top of the Vosges Mountains. They're very high, but you can see here that a lot of the vineyards creep up into those foothills. And you can really see how the Vosges Mountains acts as that famous rain shadow, really towering over the vineyards. But also you can see that uh, a lot of the vineyard is still growing on the flatter areas as well. So uh, quite a diverse region when you think about it. Um, and I really like this map. And you can see Germany as well. So that's really cool. So the final thing this week is uh, our mixology series. So the Moscow Mule is likely going to be the easiest cocktail that we will make all year for our mixology series. I was really reluctant to include too many drinks where it's just a liquor and a soda. Um, but this is the one that we are going to do is of course, vodka, ginger beer, which I love. It's the only soda I drink without alcohol, but I love it even more with alcohol uh, and some lime wedges. So very easy to put together, very refreshing. It's taken the world by storm, even though it's a really old cocktail in the last 15 years, it's just delicious. And if you can make this, you can make a whole raft of different cocktails. So check out the Moscow Mule and make sure you make one and get onto that ginger beer because it's really good. Before I finish up today, I have to give a shout out to our marketing team. They do a fantastic job and they have redone our membership page. I think it's looking very crisp, very sharp and very cool. And yours truly is on there every week because they have given me my own little section to update everybody on what is new. So if you want to check out what I have to say every week, there's a place for you to do it it's on YouTube as well. Um, otherwise, if you have not got membership, check out this page and see what membership is all about. There is the two day trial where you can experience it for free. Um, otherwise, have a great week, drink some delicious wines, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.